YouTube, YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, I just want to go over some uh, basic lighting tips for you guys in uh, Blender. And uh, yeah, let's just hop right into it. Let's not waste any more time. Um, continuing off the last part, uh, we got our floor texture, we have our character, and we have our HDRI. So, one of the most popular ways you can light your scene is with HDRI. So, uh, you can see the one we have right here. If we take that off, um, it's gonna be all pink. Uh, let's go remove. You can see this is without the HDRI. And if we take off the lighting we have here as well, you will see this is how it looks. This is our background. We remove this as well, and uh, we will have no light. <laughs> but you can see this is how it looks. Bring back the sun. It doesn't look great right this it's funny how you could have a render like looking like this turn into something completely different into a scene that looks like this which uh, I think is pretty cool um obviously you could turn off the HDRI the lighting still works the same way so you could use an HDRI to light your scene different HDRIs will look differently Matter of fact, uh, let's go to Polyhaven. Um, in the last video, I said HDR Haven. Um, it, well, that's what it used to be called. They changed their name, but. All right, uh, if this could load. So you see, there are a ton of different HDRIs here. Um, I'm just gonna choose something that contrasts the one we have currently. So let's go for like a nighttime. So you can see the difference. Alright, let's go for Solid to Night right here. I'm gonna hit download. Alright, now I'm just going to I'm gonna enable the HRI so you can see. Just for visual purposes. And as you can see, the lighting is drastically different. And uh, obviously you can turn the strength up and down. But I'm also gonna show you guys something cool. If you go into your shading tab. Click on the third bubble to, to make sure you are in render mode, like this. All right, right here, okay, we're gonna change this from object to world. What this does is, now we are editing, we are uh, adjusting our world properties, which has their HDRI here. So, I'm gonna click on your HDRI, and we're gonna hit Control T on our keyboard, and it's going to pop up mapping and texture coordinate and right here you want to go to rotation and you could actually rotate your HDRI and also adjust the lighting so let's go transparent and as you can see now we have a very nice bronze glow kind of style um, I think this is pretty cool you can see if you rotate it around like this it looks differently personally I like this a lot so um, you can scale all kinds of things you can just test uh, yourself also we got a sun right here so with sunlights um, to add a sunlight you want to hit sh uh, shift a go to light hit sun it's going to pop this up and the yellow this yellow, uh, this thing you drag, this controls which direction it is going to be shining from. So I'm going to delete that one and use the one we have right, right now. You can see if I move this, it will adjust uh, which way it is shining the light. Now we go Shift A, go to Light, we can add an area light. Get some extra lights to our scene. Uh, move this to the back. We go R X 90 to rotate this by 90. Area lights. Um, you can increase the power. Specular. You can see this is what it does. It's pretty cool. You can lower this down. Change the color to a nice blue. And now we got something like this, All right? Or a green, even better orange now that's tight I like that a lot okay all right 
but you can see how easy it is to make something cool like this, right? We go lower for 8,000 actually. Alright. So there you guys go. I want to keep this pretty short, and it's also almost 1:30 a.m. right now, so I'm just recording this pretty late. I gotta, um, I gotta get to. <laughs> I gotta get to sleep soon, but I hope this video helps you guys. Um, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure to make sure to share this video and the other ones with anybody that you think this could possibly help. We would uh, really appreciate that. So, yeah. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and we're going to see you guys in the next video.